us to another exciting day of science. So first of all, I would like everybody to stand up to get our blood flowing, brains working. All right, get those muscles moving. Okay, so last Friday, we talked about <coughs> hypothesis. I mentioned the word hypothesis and gave a brief definition of the word hypothesis. Garvey, can you tell me what a hypothesis is? Um, from what I can remember, is it a testable answer to a scientific question? Yes, correct. That is correct. So, in the scientific method, once you have your variables and you've studied and you know the unknown cause of the variables, you are ready to write your hypothesis. So, a hypothesis is an educated guess, but to put it all together, it is a testable prediction. So you're going to be able to test that in your scientific experiments. And with that prediction, you're going to predict the cause and effect which relates back to independent and dependent variables. How many of you have heard of the words independent and dependent variables? Great, most of the class has. So independent variable is a factor you change in an experiment. And a dependent variable is the factor you observe or measure in an experiment. So, we're going to use the if and then method to create a hypothesis. So the if, the independent variable goes between the if and the then, and the dependent variable goes after the then. I have written two examples on the board. The first example is if the rate of photosynthesis is related to the wave Lengths of light, then exposing a plant to different colors of light will provide different amounts of oxygen. Plants need many types of nutrients to grow. Fertilizers adds those nutrients to the soil, thus allowing plants to grow more. So, I want you guys to work into groups of two, and we're going to create our own hypothesis over everyday life. So, you guys have some time to create your hypothesis. And I'm going to be walking around the room to see if you guys need any help. Thank you.